In Normandy, Duke William makes final preparations to invade England. His massive force is gathered at Diva-sur-Mer, a coastal town near Caen on the English Channel. In August of 1066, William's huge fleet was finally ready to set sail. But William had a problem. In order for him and his fleet to get safely to the other side of the channel, conditions had to be just right. And the wind kept blowing from the wrong direction. So he waited. Days passed, and the conditions didn't improve. William and his army were stuck here on the wrong side of the channel. Some historians estimate William's army consisted of up to 14,000 men and 3,000 horses. Every day they waited, William still had to feed and house them. Two weeks pass, and still the wind is against them. With so many men and animals, conditions are perfect for diseases like dysentery to spread. Some fear the mission will be over before it's begun. Two more weeks pass. Autumn winds will certainly bring more bad weather. William's army begins to doubt him. William was very unlucky. These kind of hostile conditions are very unusual in the summer in the Channel. We've mocked up a weather chart showing the kind of conditions that he faced through the summer of 1066. Here's a big area of low pressure, and the wind goes round it in an anti-clockwise fashion. That means northerly gales banging in here, keeping the fleet locked in at Dives sur mer At last. After seven long weeks, Thank you, Father. The winds have shifted. That afternoon, at high tide, Duke William finally launches his fleet, a force of 700 ships and 14,000 men. His target is England's undefended southern coast. With God, and luck on his side, William would expect to land on the English shore the following morning. The third attempt to conquer England in 1066 was about to begin. 